reaction graphic was right. If G2 win, I get to claim that, wow, you didn't That's do That's not I how it works. Really That's why I'm letting everyone know that you picked G2, and now we're getting into G2 versus Big, because I need to be the winner here. I need to be the one guy that stayed true to the big boys. <laughs> all right, all right. I meant, like, on the points board, not, like, anywhere else. Seemed like you're doing pretty fine. Look, man, all right. I just won't say a word. How about that, Trace? Yeah, I won't say anything either. All right, then right. Let's you go. Bring us this first round. G2. Uh -huh. T side start. Hold down your cough button, boys. Control yourselves. In fact, leave the premises. Security are on their way. I've pressed the big red button under my desk. It's not a panic button. But Bro, that's an ejector be. seat. You're about to. All right. Be... No speaking. Oh, sorry. Shh. Quiet. Does this look like the library? It's silent. G2, they're waiting outside, A. Eh? They don't want Big to know, but Big, they're about to know. Uh, yeah. That's a zombie effect. Pack, I didn't mean to load in today. <laughs> Three smokes for G2. I wonder what the plan is here, right? Traditional left, right, good night smokes on this A site. But That's what we know them as. Flash them back in. Oh, dear. They get a spot, and they go back in with a flash. It's perfect. Next is dead. The back. Gives Jax away, but Kenny swings to trade and he gets away with it as well. Two kills for G2, make it a third. All these smokes not needed. They got two down. Amonek still has one to throw back in later. Where has that gone? Towards elevator, letting Hunter play on top of the boxes and only has to worry about CT. Just imagine picking, you know, big in this series is really what I have to think about. Imagine I'll, make, I'll make you both regret all of this. No regrets. When big, when big just what? absolutely absolutely step up and it could start now in this two on four uh -huh, likely like not gonna start now but tizian <laughs> is trying to surprise us and he's in with the first can he get another a bit more damage onto amanek but he only had one bullet there and he had to find both kills with it that just isn't gonna happen is it i mean it's it's pretty much, we should just go ahead and go to Dust2 at this point. What do you think? Uh, Harry, I'd like to just say something quickly because Trace, I know where he's going at this point. I don't want to be lumped <laughs> in with the other G2 fans like this man over over to your left, okay? Whoa, lumped in? What's wrong with us? Just because I'm, not us, you, Trace. <laughs> I, like, I like just big and G2. G2. I think Big is surely here to, to bring the heat, right? Like, they, they've got a lot to no, prove man, after. The message a... is clear from both of you. Trace is really selling your, your point over. Please, no. that is the... I mean, you picked G2 in all fairness. Uh, I don't know the prediction. I don't understand who. I even picked one anymore. Yo, Hugo, you want to go back and watch the VOD and see what you picked? Oh, dear. If that gets me out of this desk, maybe. Maybe I will. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, thank you so much. And that is, of course, Hugo B. Byron of Brighton. And this will be the last time he ever appears here on this desk. Hunter, <laughs> ever towards short side, is armed with the MP7. Swing on out, makes quick work as Zantares. He's already on to two in this round, so this is a pretty banging start for G2. Searson does have this scout. Lands the tag onto Kenny. It's a nice little flick, but it's not the killing blow. Oh. Tags onto Hunter, but still all the kills have come in in favor of G2. They're going to get this bomb planted, and Fakito is all the way over in CT now, middle, now elevator. It's like he's moving almost. <laughs> Probably just gonna have to be a save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Sorry. Get a good giggle out of you sometimes, Harry. That's fine, dude. As long as I'm making somebody laugh, even if it's at my expense. <laughs> That's a good sport. That's a good way to look at it. Because most of the time... It is. <laughs> it is keto. And he's got this, uh, got this deagle. And that's probably all he's got, sadly. Much as we love him. Can't really offer up much to this round. G2 are going to get away with a second as they find this conversion. And Keto, he's having a little rummage. He's having a little look. But ultimately, nothing's coming his way. That is until Amanek starts to come his way. However, he's just looked away from the site. So the timing might not be ideal here. And that's a feels bad man for Keto, who waited all round apart from those final five seconds of the round. Those are the most important seconds, Harry. That's what they say. Four SMGs still being run for G2. They are the money makers right now. And Big don't have much to stop them in the way of pistols. Yeah. All those G2 picks really looking good right now. 2 to 0. <laughs> God damn it, Trace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's never going to end, is it? No. no. This is our lives starting. now. Do keep in mind this is G2's map pick in the series. We have Dust. Oh, oh no, I bet he won't. I bet he won't keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm glad that you've uh, you've brought that to the forefront once again. 
Kenny's down here towards the bottom of ramp. And Hunter, he doesn't know it, but they're behind him. He just blindsided him. Zatares is in with another. This could get out of hand. Nexa trying to get it back under control, but he's got nine bullets, so he can't do it. Tapson's in with another, and that leaves it on to Jax. This eco pistol push down through the ramp has gotten very, very close. And it's going to fall to Kito again, this time alone over at the B side of the map. Look at all the X's over there on A ramp. Is that where all your X's are, Trace? No, nah, they're in Texas. <laughs> Texas and Texas. Album out soon. Alexis, Jax, Texas. Does he clear it? Sort of, and then not really, but he still gets the kill. The classic look, look back, and then look back again when he realizes he's actually there. Dear, oh dear. Jax, great round. He does recover that. Taps and lovely 3K from him. He shuts it down on the A ramp. Yeah, imagine if Nexa doesn't find Tizian right there while blind. That's a blunder. Could have uh, definitely gotten out of control. Hey, they, they looked pumped there. They lost the round, but they're fist bumping. They're all happy. And even though they lose it, it's because they get four on an eco. They now know the money is susceptible to being uh, wrecked here for G2. And so that's a great eco for, for Big, really. As much as they would have loved the win. That that shows the hallmark of a great team, right? Like, not a team that's getting tilted. Oh, we could have won that. And we didn't. No. You know, you got to be happy about... Uh, about losing. Yeah, to a degree, right? You've got to notice when you've done a good job, and they definitely did, but now G2 are going to make that job harder. Keto double-naded on the site, flashed off as well. He's got the org. Orbs are really good for the default position, so I'm, I'm all for this scoped weapon. G2, they're only feigning control early to go back towards A. They don't have the bottom ramp just yet. Scared of Tabson and is pushing again. sisson has got his orb here, though. And Zantaras is jump spotting, about to alert him that G2 are coming. And this is where a lot of the round is going to fall into Searson's hands. He's just unscoped, now goes back, and he does tag Nexa on the peak. Hunter, very, very fast over here at short. He's been doing that time and time again. Oi, oi. Why all the attention is inside of this A site. Amadex decided to have himself a little sneak on in towards this B side of the map. Silent as ever. Hasn't made a oh, drop of noise. Keto, man, you've had a really rough time thus far in this game, and it's not going to get easier. better anytime soon. There's Amanek. Been behind him the whole round, of course, and now the B push coming in for G2. You hate this if you're big. This was the last thing you wanted to happen. This is weird. Yeah, and even with that Molotov, they can still get a plant down for the ramp. Pretty safely, it seems. Time, though. Running low, they will get that bomb down after all. It's Amanek and Jax that are doing a little bit of the cleanup here. AWP on Searson, Zontera is still alive, and well, they look like they want to back away from the problem itself, which is the bomb plant. And Zontera is good for one on the way out, but this is going to be a save from the big side. 4-0 for G2, if they can even stay alive with these guns. Hunter. Hanging out. What's so entertaining about Amanek is he has like the highest MAC-10 kill percentile in the entirety of pro Counter-Strike. This guy loves the MAC-10. He uses it on rifle rounds like that commonly, like not just bonus rounds, but he'll like buy it up around AKs and do oh, some cheeky play. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is an eco, so it's the best round for it, but that's such a great call for G2 to send players towards A to make noise and to cause Big to rotate. They still leave someone B, which, you know, is, is Big planning for things to go wrong in, in case G2 fake it. But Amanek comes in through middle, which isn't being watched, and he gets that backstab onto Keto. What a beautiful round for G2. And the whole time, before he even got the kill, after he spotted Keto, you could already see G2 backing off of the A ramp with the bomb. They knew what was about to happen. Yeah, Big haven't even really started the engines here. For G2. Riding high. It's going to be a very quiet map. I can tell right now everybody's a ninja in this game but they're not in pajamas. Except for Omnic, graceful as ever. Yeah, I've just looked up the stats just to clarify. And so for Amadek, his fourth most used weapon is the MAC-10 with 1,100 kills. Above that is AWP, M4, and AK. I don't know, it, it does feel good to get a, a MAC-10 headshot. I'm not gonna lie, it's very satisfying, especially when you can pull off a burst, not some extravagant long spray from across the entirety of the map. 
Yeah, dude, SMGs, they're in a good place right now, I think. Uh, it, it's, been a, it's been a while since we've been able to say that, right? But Yeah, because the MP5 is just really not my jam. No. And, and I don't even be. really know it, you know, what it would take to make it that. Oh, this boost is good. He could spot but those metal grates create a bit of a problem for that pistol. Xantares doesn't actually get a hit off. And G2, they're going to hit this A site into a four-man stack. Everyone here. Keto's watching mid from B right now, so he's scared of that again. But this will be a commitment. Hunter with the opener Ooh. not going his way, though. He does a lot of damage. Xantares will live. And Sisson grabs the AK and pushes on the flank. Was that called? Was that even calm? G2, he can drop the bomb, and he's done it just as the bomb comes in. G2 do manage to keep the round in their favor, but by the oh dear skin of their teeth, this is messy and Keto can't get it done. That was oh. a very weird round and big. They love to make these ecos close, but they still haven't yet to put one on the board. Yeah, Searson in that round right there had the keys to the kingdom. It's just a timing thing, unfortunately. So they don't stop the bomb plant. They actually do get the bomb plant on the G2 side and they continue to steamroll big. Berlin International Gaming. X, Harry, Russell. Yeah, the, uh, the the homework that we should be setting is like a 500-word essay as to why Keto is having the least fun out of anyone thus far. Because, oh, it oh, can't have been a fun round there for <laughs> Searson either. Just bested immediately in the head-to-head. -head. And, you know, G2, they've been barreling into a no problem. When they get the kill, that's basically an invitation. And there we oh, go. So, it. here's another one for Three the case study. Keto, 1v4, rotated in from B. <laughs> just never come B, lads. <laughs> I don't think they sound like that, but no. <laughs> yeah, the life of a B player. What can you do? Nothing. Save. Also, give it a look, right? If you get a kill or two, that'd be nice. He's so scared of Amonet coming in through middle late. And for good reason, but that's not a worry just yet. Jax is on the boost, and that's such an awkward angle to deal with. Jax is going to close it, and G2 goes 6-0 up. Hmm... Honestly, I just can't believe me and Hugo both pick big at this point in time. Yeah, you would do Idiots. that, honestly. <laughs> but keep it, yeah, I, I think this is a three mapper, like through and through, right? Big. At this, this rate? Is, huh? At this rate? Uh, yeah, absolutely. This is a great well, map for G2. That's the this thing, is one right? that they've been dominating on. They 16 2'd MIBR. Uh, was that a cologne? It must have been. Big. Yeah, okay. They they actually big did entertain us quite a lot when they played NIP in that series that, that knocked them out of Cologne where they hit 65 them and they had some really nice BXQs. So they showed us some cool smokes. But this has been a map G2 have been picking up ever since the beginning. Ever since Vertigo got added, they've been playing it. And so it's no worry for them. When you look at the second map, it's Dust 2, Big's best map. G2, yeah, they can play it, but it's not one they tend to a lot. And then you, you know, your guess is as good as mine. We'll have to. Well, my guess was G2. Oh, so. there you go. Hang on a well, second, as good as mine. Right, right, right. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me weigh in with my little uh, point here. Oh, yeah. And that is that you know when we did see these guys meet in that grand final of DreamHack Masters. All right. Vertigo started, obviously. That was the map pick of G2. And then if you remember, the thing that made that that 3-0 streak, like the reverse sweep, so damn cool was the fact that then the maps after that kind of start to go into this like realm where they become pretty good for everyone, right? And it was actually G2 picking Dust2 in that grand final series. Mm. G2 used to love a Dust2. Mm. And so that's one of the things where in this series, I will say, it, it gets a little bit worrying if, if Big aren't able to to bring the heat, like in in the same way that they did in those grand finals when they were looking so on form, because it felt like a really big risk, the fact that Dust2 was coming in as like the penultimate map, you know, the one just before Mirage that ended that entire series, because uh, it is a very good G2 map. Think about guys like Hunter. Like, I think he's like one of the best D2 players out there. He's absolutely nuts on this map. And then you take into account that you've got Kenny on an AWP, right? That's why you need Searson to be stepping up. You need players to kind of counteract the strong sides of G2. And for big, like, you know, if this was still the case that they were coming hot off the back of all these wins at their recent events, then I feel like you'd have even more faith in them to be at 100%. But all we've seen from Big since the player break was a very lackluster performance back at Cologne. And, oh, uh, there we go. The backtrack. I was waiting for it. It was somewhere I'm in there. I'm just building a story, guys. Yeah, like it doesn't this, always I have to like be this. about the predictions. I, like I really actually story. don't care who I picked in this game. Oh. Yeah.
Yeah, it's easy to say when you're on the lead. Yeah, when you're <laughs> six nil down. Because like, I still think Big okay. can win this, yeah, but it's on. just I'm just I'm just trying to emphasize the importance of turning it up by the time Dust Two rolls around. Because I don't think it's the case that it's like you're moving into a map that you're 100 percent comfortable on and that G2 never play. Harry, I think it was a great monologue, and I'm really Thank proud you. of you. I will Thank also you. say save some for the death segment because we'll have nothing to talk about later if this carries on in this way. G2. Removing everyone on A. Big actually have five players here for a change. Keto's come early, and Kenny has spotted him in heaven. Now he's got the info on both players. Smoke down. They're trying to be cheeky. Tizian hiding, waiting for the plant, but it's behind the boxes, and there's cover if needed. Oh, dear. Flashes are still coming in for G2 as well. And even though they're all tagged up, Bigger have not been given a chance to actually get a fight, get a one-on-one -on -one right now, and Kenny's still not changing that. Hiding Whoa. behind the sandbag, waiting for the jump up. Keto... Having fun yet? Well, at least he's here in the site this time. Albeit also tagged up, 40 HP. He's gonna take a duel. Will he win it though? Will it matter? Ominic says, you know what? I want this duel actually. The suspense ah. is killing me. Okay, thank you so much. Ominic ends the round seven to zero. Now, if you know, Skatheria is true and if it, if it all kind of lines up, if the, the big planet with the big universe or the big universe with the big galaxy, however you want to look at it. Point being, this would be the time for Big to pick up a round if they're going to do it. Yeah, better late than never, right? And uh, this is late, but it's certainly not never. They've got the orb, they've got the buy, they've got the double org. Not used to saying that, but it's here. Kenny's found these opening picks on ramp. He's only four and five, but he's been getting these uh, opening jewels for G2, giving them control towards A. This time it's a contact B play for G2. No flash, just going right in silent. Only Keto here. Okay, so here it is. He's had a quite a few rounds, but now's his chance. He's about to get dealt a very, very difficult round. Four players coming his way, and what I imagine is going to be a full execute from G2. Molotov's going in. The flash is good. Keto can't see a thing, and they're already up and past him. They're running right by. Missed Molly from mid. Kenny dead. Keto will be traded. He puts up a fight, and he allows his team to get into the site. Searson getting peaked, but he does hit the shot with the orb, and this one's getting swept under the rug. It's just Hunter left. Yeah, pretty hard 1v3 for Hunter. I mean, every 1v3 is hard, but this is kind of made that much worse by the fact that they were already rotating in, like everyone's already there and they're just peeking together. Doesn't matter because Tabson was able to get that one swept away nice and quickly. And Keto, man, he's been waiting all round for a B play, or all game rather, for a B play. And he finally gets one. He puts up the kill that he has to. He kill causes enough, enough chaos for these rotations to come in. And so finally, you know, we see Big deliver us around. It takes them eight in the uh, in the half, but they put their first on the board, and now maybe they can take a few more steps in the right direction. Yeah, that's you know, so just like, of course they come B this round, man. Of course. Oh this my. Going B this round, it's gonna be the A ramp, and a ton of damage dealt on the next uh, response though in the form of Jax with an AK through the smoke. That's not how that was supposed to work out. Now Taps and Molotov off. He's got to back away in his G2. They're gonna be taking a ramp. Taps and shoot. Do it. Don't do it. Tabson. You're already thinking. You're already thinking about it. Uh, Sides against it. And now Hunter moving back at short side. That Molly is going to hold them at bay for boost. now. Quick time to throw this boost up. And that will net Centaur as a kill. Equalizing this out back into a four on four. Ooh. But the spam damage from Jax is very, very good. Centaurez is lucky to be alive and he knows it. Searson just Jeez. gets deleted. All right, Jax, <laughs> he's woken up on the right side of bed today. In with a second and looking for a bit more. Both these players on short are so damn low on HP. They are one shot away from certain death. Keto, what's he up to? Still over at B, paranoid about someone lurking in through the back line. <laughs> Santares gets spammed out. Jax deals with the other. And now we look at this guy. Poor Keto. I feel like... Big and G2 players didn't even see each other in the A site the whole round. Yeah, it's well, a matter of shooting through smokes and walls. That's why Keto's still here, right? G2 do a really good job of like not rushing A. Think about what Big saw that round, right? Tizian drops ramp. He gets full blinded. He gets spammed through the smoke. He never actually sees anyone. They boost up on short uh, and they kill Kenny. Or they, not Kenny. Yeah, they do kill Kenny. He's the only dead one. So it had to be Kenny. Oh my they God. They don't see they anyone else. They killed Kenny. Oh my God. Yeah. Follow that one. You're saying that they killed Kenny? And then they see smokes. So like all, all Big actually see is, is like one or two players and lots of utility and noise. And although G2 are all there and all ready to commit, 
there are going to be rounds, like rounds we've seen already in this game, where they, they do that same kind of noise. They, they do a fake, they get a kill, they throw the execute smokes, and then they go back to B. And so Keto doesn't want to be caught by that again. So unfortunately, he makes the right play, but it's not the, it's not the fun play. It's not the interesting play. It's just a save. And that's Rather what we can boring muster. play. You are exactly right. Yeah. And they're broke again. Immediately, Big, they pick up a round. They get reset by G2. A quick pause for Big as they try and fix the problem. But there's no easy solution right now. We might start to see some flanking mid players from Big. G2 have not been patrolling mid all too much. Also, it's a birthday, I think. I'm pretty sure that's Ooh. what this all means. You it is. Get some wrong, it's a birthday for Jakey, our observer. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Happy birthday, Jakey. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, man. Jakey. Thanks, man. We appreciate you. And everyone's been saying how good the observing is, and it's not just when Rush is doing it. In fact, actually, there's a substantial lack of it when Rush is doing it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, Jakey's getting all the praise right now. This guy's been capturing every single kill. And he's part of like an extended observing team from all over the globe. We got guys like MC in on it. We got Bastian Faber over in Denmark. Or Bastion. Yeah, Bastian, man. He's back. He's doing stuff. MC as well sent me a lovely message. Me and him had a nice little chat. He's still doing great. He's a really nice guy. And I love what he's been able to bring to the broadcast in terms of all the extra little uh, MacGuffins that we've had going on, like the camera angles and stuff. They've looked what? sweet. You don't have that word? MacGuffins? It sounds yeah. like somebody order at the local fast food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the MacGuffins, <It's>... please. <laughs> Can I have a Ma Ma Sorry, MacGuffin? This is a dollar store. <laughs> uh... um, yeah. So Jakey actually just messaged me and he said, well, that's unfortunate that you picked big. So, oh. so he's in on it too then. For his birthday, we had to get him in on it. Yeah, we actually wrote the script in favor of uh, in maybe, favor, maybe a short night in Bastion favor. Nice, yeah, man. Yeah, what would we do without you, Trace? I don't know at this <laughs> point. Here we are. What would Big do without weapons? That's also a question we should be asking. Keto with that AK still salvaged. Meanwhile, it's Amonex sitting on 10 grand. Jack's not far behind him. Hunter about halfway there. Nexa. Almost at the finish line. This has gone swimmingly well for G2 on their T side. Thriving and flourishing. Uh, bigger, not pushing, but G2 are waiting for it. Look how slow this start is. They're not even taking bottom A yet. This should be free real estate. They want big to come. They, they remember that round where it taps and pushed down with the MP, uh, MP5, MP7 rather, and got three kills. Yeah. They don't want that to happen again. Nobody pushing with that MP5 anytime soon. Mm -mm -mm. You're going to be seeing that. You're right. They're waiting on the nades. They're waiting on a push. They're waiting on something, but that indicator is just not there this time for G2. And now the utility is going to start to get used over here towards this A site yet again. Oh, the grenades might be a bit late. Look how far Jax already is. He's on the site. There's two more here. They won't clear it, but Hunter comes up from short and with his back turn, Sisson's gone. Taps and finds one, the only one in this round. The nade will do a little bit more as well. Next, oh. assisting on his team kill. Oh, Tapson, he is hitting shots. And Keto now with a one rifle has rotated in. The bomb has been dropped and he's in a one on one. This save could be worth its weight in gold here for Big. Look at Amanek. Got the Molotov in sight. It's going to be a grenade that follows it, but that should be a bomb plant. Now, how will he get out of here? He's taking substantial damage in this. Oh, I that's guess such that's how an Amanek play, isn't it? What a, what a ridiculous way to, to win the round. Just, just peek. <laughs> Smoke one side and then just immediately take the fight. Something that I'm really liking from G2 is that like they'll sneak all five players up ramp. Like everyone is shift walking. And then they'll have like two guys that, that don't subscribe to that and like make footsteps. So Big are always aware that like there is someone ramp, but you're only ever hearing like two sets of feet, right? So you don't know exact numbers, but that doesn't free anyone up uh, to, to go elsewhere over at the A site. It keeps all three players there, but also it keeps Big with, with just Keto kind of sat around, not really doing much over in B. Because as far as they're aware, there's only two at ramp and that's all they know about. Uh, it's pretty sick as well because it means that Big are never really in a spot to like be set up for retakes. You know, they're waiting around, seeing what information they get at ramp, and then G2 just explode in with everyone when they have their intent to like execute into that site. So that's pretty nifty. Keto's over here at B. He's been waiting for a chance to play the game, and he's been given another chance at it here, perhaps. But actually, no. What if I told you it was all a ruse? 
G2, they're already moving away. Is it? Might be, looks like it. Yeah, and that's actually kept two at B right now. Zentaris is jump spotting on A. He's got the info ahead of time, but careful, Kenny on the other side. He's waiting to jump up on the thing behind him. Don't know what you call it. On the what? You what, mate? Exactly. Look at about the, uh, the sheet rock down there. I think it's like yeah. just a pile of sheet rock. There we go. We'll call it that. Zantaris gets killed though immediately. Jax just peeks out and there we go. G2 run the gauntlet once again. They have been getting caught on short uh, multiple times. Multiple players just stuck with their, their backs turned looking the wrong way. 29 seconds. G2, do they commit? Bigger rule here. Keto's even beginning a rotation. He's convinced as well. Tizzy and Flash back in for Kenny. And Hunter's here too through the smoke. Is Tabs and Amanik responds swiftly. And now a three on two. G2 can plant. Sis is going to look to shotgun orp it to try and stop them. He's dropped uh -oh. the bomb, but he's been traded. And now Keto again in a clutch. Yeah, he's got to go for the plant here. 44 HP. There's no grenades for Keto this time. He's made himself. <gasps> A lot of noise. That's what he's made himself right there inside of the site. Oh. Just a crossfire from Nexa across the, the broad side of the site, actually. And that's going to be it. Double digits for G2. And now you look at this map and you start to think, okay, well, first 16, G2. Pretty good at reverse sweeps, but the other way around. Getting reverse swept. Yeah. So what will we see? What will happen? Yeah, it's a, it's a sad truth. It's a sad reality. And in this series, I take nothing for granted, Trace. Mm -hmm. Nothing means anything anymore. It's pretty deep. Shallow, maybe. Yeah, man. They get broke. Again, no money. Lots of problems. They got like 4K. You could even argue a buy, given the scoreline, right? That You just want to throw everything into it and hope for the best. But big, you know, they like their pistol armor and they have a lot of grenades as well. We saw those five HEs set towards ramp earlier and they, they actually made that round very close. It was where Keto, I think the round where he was in the one-on-one -on -one versus Amanek. Yeah, again, the five nades, armor, lots of utility. But it's not really providing the solutions. Maybe it will here. G2, do they just keep up this A offensive? Almost every one of these rounds have ended at that A site. Yeah, this is the same G2 that lost 2-0 to Ents. And, uh, well, that being said, it was overtime in the first map. That was trained, then they went to Dust 2. But still, this doesn't look like that. Back big now, back on pistols. A yeah, grenade. Ooh. Yeah, they've done a good job, like, sifting through this utility and not, not using it overzealously. They know that G2 have been taking these rounds very, very slowly. And that's good. Bigger finally using that to their advantage, you know? Like, they need now at a minute mark, deep smoked ramp, and they've still got more smokes that they can replenish this with. This is great. They're actually using, like, G2's recipe for success against them, and that's these very, very slow ramp crawls. Well, they say, look, man, if no one's going to come ramp, we'll just smoke it a minute into the round. And now what are you going to do? You can't exactly go walking through it. Finally, that smoke fades, and now they do start to creep their way up once again. But there's still all these nades in play. This is a great show of restraint on the utility from Big. But they want to get some usage out of it as the push looks to come through. And sadly, both those nades miss the mark. So nothing to write home about there for Big. Oh. Tares does find the first with the deeg, but Jax is actually in the site. Like he is with big back to back and he's opened up. Oh, there it is. Doubles through yeah. the smoke. And that's all said and done. Keto now, where do you reckon he is? <laughs> Coming in from the B site. It's Keto, hey guys, the B Slayer. Just running a little bit late. Sorry, I'm on my way. Uh, like, yeah, it's almost, it's just comical at this point. Poor Keto, dude. What can he do? Gets one. Looking for more, but the double peak is in and Nexa closes 11 to 1. This is just a, a, an excellent game from, game from G2. They're just doing it so well. Everything's going in their favor. All the smoke spams, the grenades from Big missing, like you said. Like, that's just catastrophic. And, and you saw, you know, Big goes to throw their grenades right there on the A ramp. And then G2 uses that as sort of like, okay, this is our window of opportunity. We're going to execute in this moment. All of our set piece that we've been sat here on the A ramp for the entirety of the round to do, they go for it. And that's just sort of like the catalyst to the rest of the round where Amanek, he just sprays through the smoke, gets two, lackadaisically, of course. Oh. Speaking of which. Oh, no. What is he doing here? Looks no like one's he's in mid. Crazy. He's pushed all the way up middle. 
Found Tabson with a MAC-10, works his way back around. Jack's dropping the bomb towards A, that doesn't Ooh. bode well. Tizian is gonna be there with the response. This round hasn't gone well for G2. Yeah, I like the cool, right? It was perfect. Big were all on A, they had four players committed and no one even considering it. Tabson caught with his knife out, but then the bomb follows up and Amanek changed his path. Zantaris has an off angle for Nexa, dropping it again. And Amanek 17 and four, this would be one hell of a clutch, but it will be denied. Yeah, that, that was a great call for G2, but they just didn't know what to do when they got the killer. Like, they all split up. Kenny comes in late, unable to trade. The bomb gets lost. Yeah, it was a little disjointed, huh? Yeah, but I, I love the idea, like, just running through the Molotov for Amanek with a MAC-10 and, and catching that kill with a knife out. That just shows the, the, the headspace is big right now. Like, you know, they're all focused on this A site, but you do one thing different and everything for a second falls apart, but Big do a good job of, of staying staying strong in that round and actually picking it up. 11 to two, and G2, I imagine they'll go back to what's been working. Yeah, they've put an AWP in Keto's hands as well over oh, on the big what? side. Searson, I don't Wait. know how he wins that over Kenny. I really don't, but he does. But does Zonteras get legged there too? That's what it looked like. Yeah, that's what it looked like, yeah. I don't yeah. know how that even makes sense. Did he, because it looked like a body shot. Did he shoot Searson through Zantaras? No, surely not. That damage I mean, doesn't he, make he sense. He would have shot through Searson into Zantaras because Searson of the damage. Fine. Oh, well. Yeah. Crazy scenes, who knows? Big, still standing though, man up. Stuck on the sandbags, his Zantara is burning. He can try and move with the smoke. No one's actually watching right now, but back up they go and Nexa keeps his eyes on it. They have another Molotov, one more. Can anyone bail Zantara's out? Tamsin could. He could throw his smoke on the sandbags and that might need to be calmed. Oh, he gets spotted. Now next to those for sure. Grenade is good for big. This one will hit. Double molly, not needed. Only one. Hunter gets the job done from short. And now big, still two players on eight. Keto's going to begin a rotation and he definitely should be. Everyone's here for G2. Yeah, it's a very, very slow crawl up into this site. G2, they've been using all this clock whenever they can. They actually send the man running back down the ramp to try and bait a peek, and it does arrive, but Tabson is ahead of them. And so Nexa now drops, Searson in with another. And Hunter with 15 seconds to get this bomb down, wheedle out the ramp player and deal with Searson. That's too much of an ask. So three on the board now for Big. They keep three players alive, including this double AWP. Now the two AWPers can drop guns over, and you've got a nice little buy there into the last of the half. So did you did you get that? Nope. <laughs> no idea. It looked like Can we run that one back one like, more time, please? It looked like Zantara's was naded. Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, it could have been that yeah. too. Like that wouldn't have made he only lost like 18 damage, so it wouldn't have made sense. But uh yeah, Kenny Kenny must have just hit the legs. He couldn't see a whole lot anyway. Sisson was crouched on top of the railing. I like that peak from Searson. Wonderful stuff. Two orbs again for big. Beat Molly for Tabson getting lined up. Through the smoke they go. Is this Molly exactly? I've not seen this specific lineup. It's going to bounce off and land on the short side. Kenny pushed back by it. It's good Molotov. Yeah, I like that. Big have had a little bit of bite left them in the later stage stages stages of this half. He have come up as a team, as an org, uh, as a unit. Have come up with some incredible grenades that are now like meta. Like God be alone, uh, I'm sure has has made a massive part of that. But yeah, we like one of our standard dust two smokes is actually invented by Big as well. We'll get to that in the next map because right now this one might be a quick half. Zantara is mowing him down on ramp, taps and cleans up, and it's a full house for Big three and two, four on the board. But it's still a dominant start for G two. We'll see if they can continue it. Join us for more Counter-Strike after the break.
bitch in my club. Need she run it up. Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop. Shorty, I know. Why, why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop. My team pop. Huh. Who really got the block? Huh? Huh. Sipping to rock in a cup. Huh. They say they wanna party with a 12 ass and how much be that boofy? It's a lot of love. But don't show us that about These boys only flexing with that allowance We swimming in the town I'm only f***ing you if your toes skew Brown skin, goddamn, that's my soul food I'm winning for the record, check your memo, bro Generation of destruction, you'll remember us LSD used to do promethazine I only THC, then the seat is my new lean We no longer up next on top Lay your car There's no defense, I'll buy it if I want it I'm going supersonic, come on back for it Alright, okay, running out of luck Too much in my club, Nisi run it up Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop Shawty, I know Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop My team pop And here's that shot that we promised you. Yeah, a grenade right there at the feet of Zantara, just like I suspected. And you know, maybe next time you guys will get that attention to detail, but for now, you guys can keep cat jamming away as we look at Big, who have barely showed up in the first half of play, but they pick up the last couple of rounds in a ditch effort to to escape what is a uh, rather snowball -y effect here. G2, we're running away with the game. We switch sides, and Harry and Hugo are going to guide you right where you need to be. Take it away, Hugo. Yeah, big. They have the game plans for this half, so I'm excited to see what they're going to show us. But I know that G2 won't have the same amount of respect and patience that Big did if these rounds end up as slow. Smoke on Amanek, lots of grenades for Big. They're going up towards the A side, and Amanek's already fallen back after only spotting a couple. So not a full rotate for G2. They don't know what lurks around the corner, not yet at least, but that will become painstakingly clear very soon. Yeah, smoke dropped it short, and that's going to really delay things for Big here. Oh, dearie me. What a nade. And Hunter, he's not waiting around. He's trying to catch them lining up utility and catch them. He shall. He's in with a double. The rest of G2 continuing to peak, and that overzealousness has allowed Big to grind this back into even odds. That nade onto Amanek finds a really nice response, and Tabson's even found another. But Amanek was lucky enough to move out of that position. Ooh. Moving around short and G2 rotating a man out of the sight. That's a gamble, but it's not the right one. This will leave Big with a temporary two on one. Nexa might not rush this, though. He's probably going to wait for his team. He hasn't bought in this round, so I wonder what the long term consequence of that is. What's he planning? We'll leave him with no kit, no armor. We call it fiscal responsibility, okay? Well, it could cost them here. There is a kit dropped in front of them, at least, so they can retrieve that one, but they've got to get past Tabson before they do, and he's not making it easy backing up already. Very passive. Nexa goes for the kit. Zantaris is holding it. Oh, quick shot for Nexa. Can he grab it and get away? Scarpering back to the site. It's Tabson in a one-on-two, flashing up. Amanek spotted Tabson. Oh, he's going to get him off the bomb. Great work for Tabson, but is there time for Amanek, who grabs the kit and sticks the defuse? I think he's just got it. That's a lovely try for Tabson. Obviously, he wasn't ever to know that, but Amanek was only one shot from death, so he could have probably killed them both. But that's a that's a really good call for Tabson. Regardless, it's still going to leave G2 with a pistol. 
Look at this. Just like he knew Amanek was there. He saw him and he just runs right past him to, to try and take the one on one, try and get him off the bomb, but no avail. And the gentleman in the bottom. Oh, well then. I was just going to make light of the guy in the bottom right. Righty ho. Well, here we go. Back into mid control. Harry Russell, take it away. Yeah, Thompson up on the uh, the boost, but he's going to get past these MP9s, and he does. Now, if you looked at these buys, you wouldn't know who won the pistol. And that's the era of Counter-Strike we find ourselves in. The buy that G2 have pales in comparison to that of Big, considering they, uh, they just won the pistol round. Back to the slow, cruel up ramp for Big. Repeating what G2 did for 15 rounds straight, it felt like, but no info for G2. They don't know. They do have these mid flanks, though. This is something Big never attempted in that first half, but I wanted to see from them. G2, I love it. Straight into the uh, the first chance they get, they're already pushing in on the flank. That means that Amanek is need to, needs to hold the fort alone. Great Molly to slow down the plant. That will give more time for these flanks to activate. Bakito's checking it on a timing. Nade for Amanek. Won't kill the planter, but will do a lot of damage. Searson up to seven. Keto does kill one on the flank. Spots an extra as well. Great work for Keto, right? We've been we've been <laughs> laughing him a little bit, having some very unfortunate CT rounds, but he comes up big when he needs to. Comes up big. Yeah. <laughs> I get that wow, one. Wow, dude. That's a pretty good one, man. Because it's like uh, the 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 the, big. Uh, the Go on with it, boy. Yeah. Got it. The, uh, the... Dang old, dang old, man. This is your boom power impression? What's that? <laughs> yeah, no, It's man, impossible that's... to say... I use the word big very often, but it's impossible to say it in a big game. Luckily, I mean, a big, big game G2 like this, game. right? Yeah. It's, it's a um, big classico. Yeah, yeah, Berlin International Gaming taking on G2, and it is a very big game indeed. They get themselves a fifth on the board here. Honestly, this round kind of makes me feel a bit sick. Like, because yeah. that's just the state of CS that we're in, where admittedly, like, G2 could have had rifles, right? They win the pistol. They were very conservative with how they bought. They got a lot of SMGs. So, yeah, that's kind of their call. But the fact that there was more, like, just more firepower across the board on the big side, just for getting that bomb down, I don't know if I like that. How you feel about it, Hugo? Yeah, dude, we've talked about there the economy. We, we've raged and we've raved. Yeah, but I mean the CS economy this time. Yeah, not like the, the IRL economy, because that is boring. Oh, here we go. Hunter. Oh, dear. Oh, Searson. He gets abandoned by his team. The speed and pace at which they just left him to die really is remarkable, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting out of here. And then Searson's like, guys, hello. Just die into a new down ramp. I... My goodness. As Rush would say, he's been homicided. <laughs> That was from uh, Rush's casting yeah. when he gave it a nice little go. He's pretty good at it. Kind of getting nervous now. Keto moving up into this site, gets digged on that first peak. Keto's like, I know how to deal with B. Trust me, I'm the expert in how to deal with yeah. B. And we that is, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> Uh, again, the mid re aggression, but on a round like this, you know, G2 have really no no chance of winning it, you would think. Eagles, Kenny Low. Amanek with a kit, which is nice. He hits the little drop onto the ladder late, making no noise while he does. Jack's caught, taps him out quick. That's uh, that's sweet uh, irony there. Well, not irony, there's a better word for it, but revenge, I guess, because Jax, he was so good at getting past into the A site before Big even knew he was there on that first half. Keto, very small, apparently. He's just ducking below these shots. Amanek doesn't know, but he will grab a UMP and get on out of there. Kenny, why not go for a kill or two? You got a deagle, nothing else. Holding for the crouch peak, he's so ready. He knows what to expect, but no killing blow. The force back for G2 falls short. And, oh, very close, but it's still going to be a big round. Six on this T side. Amanex come in to kill Tizian. He might just get what he wants. 
Well. Or not. Really full send of that one, huh, Trace? Full send. Not resend, full send. Again, that's esl.gg slash fan cam. But also, you can use the hashtag ESL Pro League. I just don't know why. There's everybody in the room around me is laughing right now. I can't tell why, but something is just so tremendously funny that it's just, you know, laughter is contagious. Get it, yeah, everyone's la like, there's like a hundred people. You, I can hear you laughing through Look the, the crowd. <laughs> that's them laughing. Well, let's try and get back on track as hard as it may be. Right now, G2, that's what they're hoping for as well. But that track, well, they've been derailed for the time being. It's a bit of an eco. It's big look to build seven. I want to see that that big execute on the B-bomb site that we know they've got. The, the deep smokes on either side of Jens. Deep grenade. does a bit. Nothing too much. But that's all that G2 actually had invested in this round, other than the deagle on Kenny that was saved, of course. So... Yeah, this is really all the chance that G2 have. They're going to try and push A, fight together. But Big on here. Big on nothing to do with this site. Get out of my sight. Harry. <laughs> yeah. Stay clear of me. That's what that's what they're saying right now. <laughs> and well, Big going to get out into middle. Of course. Have a new generation here as they make their way over into mid. Smoke goes down to block off the elevator site. And they're already in B. Now for G2, you'll note the problem. You can see it on the minimap. How many players did G2 have in B, Hugo? Ah, uh, if my calculations are correct, zero. Ah, I've just put that in the number cruncher and it's crunched them right up. And honestly, I didn't even know what the numbers were to begin with now. But point is, not a good round for G2. Obviously, it's only these pistols. Anything they can get away with, like Keto's AK Nexa. is great. Nexa is <laughs> half into himself. Yeah, so, Harry, just to kind of answer your question there, both teams start with five players alive on each side. Oh, okay. Right. And then the numbers you start to deduce down as people fall out of the round or, you know. So uh, when they, like, fall out, is that, like, in, like, full guys? I hear, like, how they, like, you know, you get, like, a limit. You hear what? You, like, I, sorry, I hear you, you're playing that now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, no, I gave it a try with Mr. Sean Gares. Who? <laughs> Come on. Everyone knows Oh, yeah, Sean now Gares. everyone knows. Everyone loves Sean Gares. He's like... Probably one of the top Omen mains in NA. Yeah, I think, if, exactly? I think if I had to pick a legacy for him, that would be <laughs> it, right? Like, I think Omen, of the name of Sean Gares, and I think, man, that's the best Omen main uh... right there. Maybe he's down here with Obo <laughs> from yesterday. <Yeah. laughs> Had a bit of a tumble. That'd be cool if the bodies were, like, dynamically building up over time. And eventually, Vertigo was, like, this huge... Pyramid of, yeah, of yeah. corpses. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Be sick. Yeah, there could be, like, tunnel mazes, too. There'd be, like, the catacombs. I'm sure that'd be great for performance. Searson, interesting <laughs> purchase, by the way. Okay, I'm going to guess it's a out. miss buy, but I, who knows? I don't know. You never know with Big, right? You never know, like, what's yeah. purposeful, what's accidental. All I know is that Searson's got an auto sniper, and that, that's juicy with yeah. two O's. A couple C's. Three, maybe. CT Auto is far better, as we can, I hope we'll agree on that. It is just better. Do you mean the gun or just having it? Like, you mean the, the CT Auto is, is better, better than, than, the, yeah, than the GS13, G9, 17 and a half, minus the three, and however you say that name. I don't know, man. I never used either. I couldn't yeah. tell you which one is better. Fine all. It does everything the same except one bullet, one kill. Or so a Krieg or like a Ooh. Org, but let's see. Okay. Let's see what this auto sniper is able to bring to the table. Searson, Hello. there's a bunch of naysayers here, and unsurprisingly, they're saying nay. That's where they get their nay. Keto, moving up ramp. Searson spamming out the auto. Everyone now knows it's in play, and you reach that weird limbo where G2 are like, was that, 
Was that an auto sniper? <laughs> now everyone's trying to figure out where do you even hide from that? Like, what? Where's he gonna put it? What are they gonna do? And everyone's scared. And Sears is trying to use Ooh. that terror. He gets some damage down range, but ultimately it's Keto and Tapson stealing all the glory. For Kenny and Jax, they've got to back out and save. Now, bearing in mind that there was a point in time where this game was 11 and 1 in favor of G2. Yep. Now it's 8 to 12. Big. They are closing this gap. They are getting yeah. back into Vertigo. Now, I really did see it right there in the first stages of this game. When Big were getting back into the game, you really thought, like, okay, Big, are gonna, they're going to do it. You know, they had it in their tank the whole time. Yeah, man. When they were 11 1 down, I was thinking, like, this is it. This is the big I wanted to see. Yeah. And so that's what you got. No, I'm, I'm, done. I'm glad that we've that we've got this resurgence. I was very, very worried that this was like just a dead series, honestly. Not dead series, but dead map. You know, I was worried that G2 were just going to steamroll them. Um, and that's certainly what it looked like. Like, I think I can be forgiven for that assumption, okay. given, given the, uh, the circumstances of that 11-1 lead. But as we know, like, Vertigo does fall under that category of maps that lean towards the T side. And then the fact that we're in online play and then there's, like, Pika's advantage and all these other little tiny, you know, T's and I's to dot and cross, respectively. Um, you know, I feel like I feel like Vertigo is more T sided than ever. So, but regardless, like you know, you're 11 one down. This is still a great comeback. So, you know, the fact that now players are starting to get a bit more energized. Also, this auto is still out in play. I don't even know what to say about that. I thought maybe it would have got dropped. That to me says that surely it's intentional. And CS is just spamming them through the smoke. Gosh, this makes the ramp fight pretty terrifying for G2. Yeah, maybe this is just the biggest brain, you know, pur purchase that we've ever seen. We've not really seen the full breadth of what it can bring to the table here, but versus the orb, that is the, the ultimate test, the ultimate task. Kenny could get wall banged, but he's below the shots. Going wide, he knows he has the advantage if he can just get that first bullet off. Yeah, but if you don't, Ooh, you're dead. That's it, yeah. yeah. Glug, glug, glug of the sniper comes back. Looking for a B pick now, Tabson. He's got the bomb. He's just shown the bomb on B. Now G2 are just going to send everyone here because, hey, guys, the bomb's B. It's not in there, though, yet. They're waiting on the mid lurk. It's still a man up, so no rush for big here in this round. G2 with a little bit of doubt in their mind, but that molly sells it, and they start to push it. So Torres has hit the timing to perfection right behind them with one. Hunter trades Jax at the gens as well. No worry in the back line. He's looking forward, but Tabson is also there. Putting the bomb plant down, and Searson, okay. no scope through the smoke, through the wall, into Hunter. That's a pretty long kill feed, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! Kenny tries his best to replicate, but now he might need to run away. Jeez, oh, Kenny still holding on. Oh my goodness. Don't throw this big. Yeah, big, this, he can hear Searson. He can hear Searson at ramp. Kenny, he could go for this right now, but oh. Tizian just wide swings him. Imagine, imagine a world where Kenny turns around, kills Tizian, and then just gets on the yeah. bomb and they just lose. Like he knew that they were wrapping around. I, I admit, he thought he was, he closer. Thought he was yeah. closer, but I feel like you, okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? Just Pickable. one bullet. No. No, no, no. Okay, this, I, I'm, I'm on board with the auto. You sold me, Searson. I like it. You don't put it in first. Is this like Big's new job? They like bring attention to the off-meta guns. Like we have Keto with the dualies. We have Searson with the auto sniper. What's next? I can't wait for the day we have like Tabson with the Bison or something like that. Or like, uh, you know, like Next, uh, not Next. So what I'm on about. Yeah, Next is my favorite yeah, big Next player. Yeah, Next is my favorite big player as well. Uh, I meant... I meant Tizian. Obviously. Names on your screen right now. Yeah, I know. Quick group pressure. <laughs> well, I was trying to think who I actually meant to begin with. Does it matter? No, not really. Searson, what do you got for us? A pistol. I know there's something at your feet or something in your head that you're about to buy. Yeah, Kenny, man. That, that was, uh, yeah, if only he knew it was Searson below him. He oh, Searson still has to... the auto, doesn't oh. he? Oh, he got rid of it. Oh, I guess, I guess they picked up Kenny's and he dropped his out. Because ah. Tizian did kill Kenny at the end. Okay, he's downgraded. We understand, Searson. It's fine. Just, you sold us on it as well. Yeah, it's fine. You're forgiven. Sort of. Not really. Oh, Kenny. Yeah, we've seen players fall off here before Kenny, though. He's an experienced Vertigo Warper. As he said the other day, this is his favorite map to play, and he will take down Tabson to start the round. That's everything for G2 now. A man advantage. They've been getting wrecked in this T side, by this T side, rather. Five in a row for big. G2, ever since they won the pistol, they've won nothing. And so. That does make all the difference. Looking left though, next though, the barrel might have stuck out there. Keto just hard clears it and will take that kill. 
now B's open, so bodies are thrown at the problem. G2 put Jax here. It's only a fake being sold by Keto as the rest of his team group up towards A. But it's kept two G2 players in the B bomb site. We know how hard it can be to retake. Well, that smoke's fallen down. That's going to give way more room for Big to move in past it. And I like the aggression for G2. They're going to confirm or deny which site this will be. B is clear. And so do they aggro flank again? Or do they safe rotate? Jax will go for it. His teammate backs up. This is a nice call. Hunter has utility to stop the bomb plant if he can get there in time. And by the looks of things, he's getting there in time. Jax isn't rushing on this flank. He's still holding B stairs. And so this will be a retake round for G2 by the looks of things. Or at least an attempt at it. 25 though for big, they've got to go. Yeah, they have left this one down to the wire. In goes the utility. But now they've got to get past the guns. 15 oh. seconds. This bomb on the back of Searson dropped by Kenny. The round could be over right now. They're going to try and... Re yeah, they can't. No one grabbed the bomb. It's over. Cool. That's a pretty unique round there from Big. They yeah. uh, they spend so long getting all the utility ready that, that at that point, like, there's no room for anything to go wrong. And the moment they, they look up the ramp, just about everything goes wrong, yeah. actually, strangely enough. Cool call for G2, though. That would have been a bomb plant, but G2 decide to flash through the smoke so I can just run out and cause chaos, and they just disallow the bomb plant there. So that's on G2 making the move, being proactive. Kenny with two on the AWP in the round as well, dropping Sisson with the bomb, as you say, who also had the orb. So yeah, great damage. Sisson gets knifed in spawn by a teammate. Classic. Kenny going back for more. He certainly will try. Kenny. Ooh. Like to the very tippity top of the smoke. Three rounds for G2. That's all it's going to take. And it's like I always said, you know, I knew they had it right there off the top of the chart. But, you know, sometimes you got to fumble your way through life. That's how you learn. We don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents. Shout out Bobby Ross. Not Rick Ross. Two totally different people. Kenny's so low, but he's still holding back towards CT. Bigger lining up smokes. Hopefully they're going to do this execute with more time than the last, and that does seem to be the way. 50 seconds, Kenny rotates around to avoid grenades. Amanek with a molly for the bomb part as well. Do G2 really want to flash through here, though? Because big, they've got five players up, four of them fighting the site. Jax with another one, and Hunter's going to go through with his teammate. Amanek's dead, flashed out by Kenny. Not the best bit of utility, not the best thing. Oh. Uh, synchronicity. How do you say that word? I just tried to Syn say it. I don't synchronization. Know. No, synchronic Synchroni syn synchronicity. Yeah, that's something like that. I don't think these are words. What you two are saying? <laughs> Would it be synchronization? Yeah, that is definitely a word. I just thought there was another way of saying it. Let's ask sound, Twitch so. chat because they probably know. Yeah, dude, they're experts. No one's smarter than Twitch chat. It just sounds more real than synchrosity. Whatever. No, syn no that's not. I'm saying it wrong, though. It's not that. Okay, well, I, don't, I think I'm making it up. We'll move yeah, past well, it. Let's we'll make it up. You, know, you can make words up. It's fine. Like as long as you, as long as people understand what you mean. Synchrosity is the word. Is Please it? Stop. Yeah. No way. Freedom and weep, Harry Russell. No way. Harry's school for Londoners. Synchplicity is what I'm thinking. Okay. Sure it is, Hugo. There it is. Synchplicity. Damn, dude. You can sync with that. It's wow. probably not it, but we'll find out. Either way, no, he won't. Back yeah, in the we'll action. find out. What are we going to do? Like, send someone to go figure that out for we'll us. Pick okay, his brain. We'll get a dictionary. It. I'm sure Trace has one under his bed. He studies... Nothing like looking up a broadcast. word that you don't know the word for in the dictionary. All right, dude. Just Harry. Just read all words. Oh God. You want to say some <laughs> words of your own? This is your time. Go on, man, with you. You right old git. There's not really much in this round for G2 outside of the AWP on Kenny and the Famous for Nexa. That's pretty much all they've got. And they've got aggressive over here in middle. Now, Tizian is actually holding for it. And while that is information gained, that's quite the bit of ground given over to G2. Kenny decides he's going to start to creep on in, but he only legs Tizian, lives to tell the tale. And Jax comes in with the deke to help out even further. It's all the synergy in the room. Yeah. Is that the, word the one? I just Maybe. I don't know. The word I looked up doesn't exist, by the way. 
It's always worth a shot. There's though. no more defeated feeling. The That's... typing in a word you know is real. It's because it came up, but it's, it's a company real. name, oh, okay. <laughs> not a word. Oh, all right. Oh boy. It'd be like picking big to win this series. <laughs> yeah, imagine doing that. Well, right now, I don't know. Bigger looking pretty good. They're winning this T side, but Hunter has something to say about that. Another kill traded, though, this time around. Big. They don't know, but G2 are hunting them on the back line. A double flank that's coming in fast. And oh, maybe not too fast, though. Wow, next. Yeah, he hesitates, and that hesitation has saved the game. It's kept this a secret for G2. It's bigger now on the site, and they don't know. They need to go back for it. Keto has. He's been dealing with these flanks, but up close is Nexa jumping on the boxes. Who doubles down and saves? the round. G2, it took them some time, but they get back in the swing of things and put up a 14th. Synchronization. Can we move past this? I, I mean, now you've got me like, was, thinking about it. I don't even know a, what... That was in a round where G2 went into it with an AWP, a Famous, and then a few Force Port pistols. Kenny helps out uh, alongside Jax pushing mid early on to steal that opener away. And then from that point onwards, right, it just gets sweeter and sweeter for the G2 side. And it's like one of those rounds where big, they know that they shouldn't be letting it slip away. And it's like that first kill gets torn away from you. And then the more they try and do to combat that, it actually gets worse and worse. It all gets sent into this like mad chaos. Kenny, he loves attempting these floor wall bangs, and you know he's gonna land one one day. <laughs> but sadly, today, not looking like the day. Ooh. Santara's is very close up ramp. Ooh, he steps in the molly. Amanex is gonna hear that. Santara's doubles back to avoid the nade damage, giving G2 control back of the A ramp with that deep smoke. TC is breaking windows in spawn. That's gonna scare G2. They know a flash is coming, they just don't know where or when throw flashes to basically anywhere on the map from those T-spawn windows. Smokes too. We've seen it done. I'm outside of B right now. CSM leaving. Zantara is alone. And Amanek aggressing. This could be a recipe for disaster for Big if Zantara is caught with nades out. Throwing all his utility here. Trying to sell this fake. Amanek looks into the flashbang. But he will not be killed. Zantara is not committing. He's going back to join his team. That just allows Amanek to fast flank if he wants. And Amanek, he wants. So fast flank is inbound. 40 seconds for this B play. And G2 are going to have four players on the site. They know where this one's going. This doesn't get much better than this for G2. Yeah, right there at the very finish line as well. Harry? Yeah, this could be the round that decides it all. Amonex flank now discovered, right? But the problem is for Big, all that does is let them know, by the way, you are walking into a site that is stacked. And here comes the push. They need to be better than ever. And Nexa hidden at the back of the site. No one's even reacting. Nexa, Ooh, this might dear. tear this away from Big. Jack's there to help out. And Searson with seven seconds. The collateral would have been oh. nice because it would have allowed the bomb plant. But, you know, that's not really Searson's fault that it didn't happen. <laughs> 15 on the board for G2. And now just one away from finally locking in their map pick. A map that they were 11-1 up on at one point in time. Yeah, but you know, G2 of them Vertic Globals, so at this point, when do we start discussing the next map, I suppose, in the pre-match? Oh, Hugo just had a thought. I see him smiling. He thinks he's got the word he was <laughs> I found for. the word. Like, oh, have you now? Synchronicity. I don't know how That's I... That's what I said. Yeah, maybe. I just don't that really is... listen. <laughs> yeah, exactly maybe. what I said. I don't know, man. Yeah, man, maybe. I don't know. We're I don't think get it's this guy out of here, right? Here we go, Zatara's. He's been... Uh... <laughs> He's very sanctimonious over here towards short. What? I'm going to get stuck in. Looking for some simplicity in amongst this synchronicity as he gets away on the back of that Molotov raining in. Yep. Instead, it's just shitty. Not wrong, Trace. Oh, dear. The spam could kill him. He's just moved into the safe zone, but only briefly. Amanek is... Firing right back through the metal. It's going to say wood, but times are changing. And they might get worse for Big because the flash is up for Amanek. He's going aggressive. Peeks into the flash, unfortunately, so sees nothing, but there's no one there to be seen anyway. Big are coming up on the short side. Good spam from Tabson doing damage. He has been consistent no matter through thick and thin, through good and bad. Tabson has been there and continuing to put up kills. Boost up, triple boost up. They're swapping, so Sisson can go above. Oh, no. They might just die to okay. Amanek on the short push. 
that's a, oh, I never like the triple boost. It never feels worth it, in my opinion. And uh, Amanek Ooh. does at least get dealt with by Keto, who's made this round feel doable. And it's all because they just abandoned the idea of the triple boost. They don't see anyone right away. They're not in a spot to be holding it. And so they will get the bomb down. And for G2, likely just going to be a save here. They, they have money to invest if they keep these two guns alive. But now they can only keep one gun alive. And will they manage that? Kenny, they know where he is. How far, to what extent, do they want to hunt down this man? Tizian's got a plan. He's already below B. And so Kenny could be walking with his back turned into the opponent. But he's ready for any contingency, is Kenny. And actually, he's made the right call here, moving middle, getting away from big. Still going to be 11th round, though. This one is not done just yet. G2 may have found a, a couple in a row the first time they've done so on the CT side. Big won't let them have it for free or for easy. Oh, dear. Did Kenny survive that? They were very close at the end of the round. I think he did. Should just be fine. Nice entries from Keto. Taps him with an opening kill in this round as well. He's been chock full of them in this map. Four and two for him. Zonteras getting some paper towels prepared. Got to keep those hands dry. Yeah. This is going to be a sweaty crawl back into the game. If you look at big 11, you, then you look at G2, you say 15. Well, what the, what the heck? How, G2, what are you doing? What doing? Just trying to close, man. Kenny. Nope. He's going to push with the orb. This guy's crazy. I love it. I mean, he's always going on about how he loves Vertigo. And here he is, loving the hell out of it in oh through boy. the back line. This orb. Oh, oh my he doesn't God. shoot. He takes all the precautions and does all the moves needed apart from clicking that ever so coveted mouse button. Kind of important. Yeah, yeah, look what that's done, though. Out and that's rang the alarm over here at the A site. And the fight's there. It's Hunter. Finds a kill with a deagle, but. I mean, Kenny's very low. We're looking at Hunter and Nexa, who are still technically Run. in the fight. God, Kenny just barely making it out. And that bomb's going to get planted for sure. And yeah, they have nades for the site, but they come in late and they don't do a whole lot. And so maybe throw in the towel if you're G2 here. Throw in the paper towel if you're big. That's what they've done. And they found 12 with it. Boys, I don't want to be the bearer of... News. News. Is this 2020? And I haven't heard any good news. So. What's the news? What are you bearing? This one's got OT written all over it. Oh, that's not bad that's news. Not bad. I didn't say yeah, bad news. I, well, I you, said news. Oh, yeah, but you, you, you okay. No, yeah, but like, what's wrong with being the bearer of news? Because, you know, jinxing it. I don't know. News bearers now across the country, <laughs> up in arms. The pandemic. Pandemonium, even. Yeah, it's just scary for G2. Like, as Harry said earlier, this was 11-1 and 11-4 half for G2. They won the pistol. They were in control. They should have closed this game by now, but Big have had a great T-side comeback as G2 did in the first half. So, yeah, still up for question. Well, let's look and examine the buy here for the side of G2. This one's going to be pretty all-in effort at this point. Oh, Kenny... There'll be no barbecue today. Oh, there will actually. We're serving up fresh Amanek in a, in a few minutes. Ooh. He just got roasted down towards, what, short, I think? Yeah, that's pretty brutal. And now this path into B, it's wide open. It actually couldn't be more open. There is Nexa. There was Nexa. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> there he was. Yes. Uh, there he goes, fast as he appeared. Jackson uh, and Hunter, probably going to have to save. You know, you hate to say it up against this scoreline, <laughs> but this is 13 on the board for Big. Mad. Also, I tell you what, Tapson's having an absolutely nuts game. That's de Well, he just died, obviously. I'm going to stop saying players' names <laughs> because I feel like I'm like a bad luck charm here. Well, bad luck, Brian of Esports.
the Harry Russell story. In I think you call Harry that a lot, actually. I'm just going to cut him off right there. Great point, Trace, as we move past this one. Oh, what a save, Jesu. Holding on to the weapon above the ladder. And I don't want Harry to continue talking Wait, wait, this is actually a good story. You still keep pushing this I love Byron on video games because me and Rush convinced him to play DayZ for months. And then he finally comes on to play. He runs for an hour to meet up with us. Rush gives him a bottle of water, yeah. which he drinks, and then immediately dies because the water was uh, <laughs> un <laughs> like unpure, like dirty water. Rush poisoned me, is what we're and, and that was Hugo's whole experience. Oh. Then he uninstalled the game. And I, mean, I don't I, blame you one bit. I played Daisy for maybe 2,000 hours in the good old days when that game was fun, okay? I gave it a go in 2020. And that's it. It's gone off my hard drive. Never <laughs> so, well, any, strike man, for life. any man that runs for an hour. Well, here's the thing. Right, we're talking about DayZ, and it's G2 trying to survive in this game. But Centares is making life very, very hard for them. Through the smoke, he's taken a man out of the equation. And we're into this five on four. Big. If they pick this up, they're just one away from taking us to overtime in a game that, that they had, they were blowing out of the water yeah. in in that first half. Like, this is absolutely nuts that they've been able to do this. Our big, just the kryptonite of G2. And it is very much possible. It's big. They've got their eyes set over here towards the B site from the looks of it. It's about to be a smoke execute. Taps him with the bomb. Look at this Mr. Feeney looking fellow over here today named Hunter. It's the reverse sweep, but it's not even like a, a map down. It's just like, oh, 11-1? Yeah, let's reverse sweep them, win the series. You could just say they lost. <laughs> and that might be what we have to say, Trace, because right now it's only Jackson B. He's got to put up one hell of a hold, gets the first, this one AK out of two guns in the round, flashed in. Jackson's Ooh. going for it. He's dropped the bomb. Okay, he's bought a, uh, a time. He's bought time for G2 to give it a go, but Searson through the smoke, catching Kenny on his re-emerge, and Tizian shuts it down with two more. So. It continues as it should. G2 was saving for the last round, but it might not be the last round. It might be the start of many more as at 15 to 14, G2 have everything they need, but they've had more than enough opportunity to close this game out. Big, giving us one hell of a showing in this Pro League matchup, in this DreamHack Masters grand final rematch. You can see the big fans, they're dancing in the, st yeah. in the stands. And shout out to the homie playing the bass guitar. Is that the MIBR guy? I'm pretty sure. Is it, he's been in like every fan camp every day, playing the guitar constantly. Respect the grind, the hustle. It continues. He's been there since the beginning. Well, Sears is lining up a wall bang, but no one's home to receive it. And for G2, this is the lifeline you need. If you're going to take this into OT, you might have your. Your wind taken out of your sails if you go into the second map with your head lowered, having lost the first one in what was an 11-4 comeback. I mean, not to mention, right, but in that grand final series that Hugo was just mentioning, this was the map that G2 were able to win, right? And dominantly. So this is like props to big. Might have been a pretty pretty terrible start and with G2 looking really hot out of the gate but all it took was like those few rounds to start to get big believing again and boy are they big believers now as they set up outside of the A site they're looking to end this in A and how fitting after G2 exploited this A bomb site for an entire half this is where big look to try and take us to OT here comes the push and early damage onto Amanek 30 seconds now we've seen big wait and leave this down to the clock and lose it to time so now more than ever really now more than ever they cannot afford to have that happen kenny is in the exact same spot back in ct i'm having deja vu this is getting scary 10 seconds the push needs to come in and the trades uh -oh. found oh no, oh, no. it might is. happen again surely not ah. tizzy and sprinting he's running he's gonna get him plugged in just in time and oh, there's the a chance the wall oh. by oh. is denied 